Hello, and thank you for taking this course. In this session, I'm going to talk about my KDP publishing strategy, and uh, this has helped me to scale, scale up my business. This has helped me to publish more books. <clears throat> this has helped me myself to be able to do more, and now I can sit comfortable and I'm doing videos about KDP publishing. So the first thing you need to do is that you need to have a plan. So I have a plan for myself, and my plan was to, when I started, I, my ultimate vision and dream was to publish close to 3,000 books. And once I reached that, I just told myself that I'm gonna put in 3,000 books, nothing more, nothing less. Right. So based on this, I started planning, I started programming. So every day I used to publish like 40 books every day, 40, 40 books every day. Every blessed, I published 40 books in one niche. So, and I do niches like per week. So one week I'll pick a niche. I'll pick one single niche and I'm going to publish, I like publish almost all the things I can find, all the keywords I can find there, all the titles that I can use within that niche, and I publish that. So within a week, I could have like 40 by, uh, and I do six days a week for publishing, and I use one day to learn. So I used to publish close to like within a week, every day, 40. <clears throat> I put in 40 books and make sure that I follow up with, uh, with the keywords and I do all the necessary things that I'm supposed to, to, to do to make it possible. So in a week, I used to publish like 240 books every, two, every week and it has helped me to scale a lot. So once we go on to the system, you see that I have close to like now 320 books uh, 320, this is 320, so I have close to, each line has 10 books that you can publish, like you have 10 book word counts. So 320, that's like 3,200 uh, 3, books. So this 3,200 books. So I've added close to two, 200, but it's not 200 per se, but it's not 200 per se, but it's a, uh, books that I feel like, so I have close to uh, 3,200 books, but it's not up to 200 because some of them have been blocked. Some of them have not completed because they ask, they, they, like once they are not okay in terms of interior size because I'm producing large quantities. And Amazon tells me to go and re-edit whatever the interior or the size, cover size. Some of them I don't do. So over 100 books, over 10 or 30 books in this might have not been published, but in total, I will have like close to 3,100 3, books, right? So those are some of the, the, like the books that I have, and that's my strategy. I publish weekly and uh, every day, like make sure I put in 40 books. And once I put in the 40 books, I'm able to, uh, work on that and I keep on moving. Then the other thing I do is that, apart from publishing weekly, I do my, uh, I do my keyword researches down and I do my cover pages down. No, I don't actually uh, like finish cover pages. So all I do is I just design my cover pages <coughs> and I leave the template on Canva. So I have like, if I'm doing notebooks, so this notebook pages, if I'm doing six by nine, then I have like this template somewhere. So once I just come and I pick, I pick any of them. So this is one I was just using for this presentation, like this course, but I have like one also. So I just leave it, then I go, I just, once I put in the interior, I go to Canva and I publish it. I go to Canva and I download the cover and I publish it, change it for all like the interiors. Like, so if I, I can use one interior to do the like, 40 covers and I just need to be changing my covers. 
So that's the other strategies I use. And I also use the mass upload tool, which I talked about in this course, which I just have like some of the books, gratitude journal is there. I have things like Happy Mother's Day, like all the things that I just put them, all the books categories. So based on the one I'm working on, I go in and I'm especially work on that very well so that I don't spend time uploading and I don't spend time doing unnecessary things. So in part, this, those are some of the strategies I use and I also learn a lot. In this business, you need to learn to expand your business, you need to learn to scale. And the ultimate tool that I use, the ultimate strategy I use is to mind my own business. Yes, you need to mind your own business and there's a uh, publishing business. So my own business simply means that focus on your plan. Don't be frightened when you watch videos and someone is making like 5,000, the person say I'm making 2,000, 5,000, dollars and you are frightened because you are making like 10 or $100. No, please, everybody has his own part. Some of them, they do the videos just to hype themselves. In reality, they're not making up to that amount. And so if the you watch and you are scared, you may not never publish. It started, well, I started doing that from the beginning. I watch people's videos and I see that they are making like $3,000 every month. And I'm not making, I'm like making like $50. So I feel like, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? But I realized that everybody has this time. And up till I'm able to make like $200, $100 monthly I can make and I can even make up to $500 and I'll keep on moving without ads. And that is a milestone for me. All this, I don't do ads. I only do ads during Christmas, uh, Christmas periods. I do free promotions like uh, Pinterest, which I talk about, Facebook, Twitter. I don't do paid ads. So don't be uh, frightened. Um, just mind your own business and have your plan. So once you get up to the 3,000 books, or you can do 10,000 books, or 4,000, or 50,000 books, any amount of books you want to publish, that's up to you. But once you get to that, then you now relax and start seeing how you can give back the knowledge to society. That's what I'm doing. I have this course, and hopefully, maybe you've paid or you've gotten it for free, but the paid ones, I'm also going to get extra income from this. And I'm going to do this, and I use some of the uh, interiors that I created and expanded to my Gumroad store. And I'm using that. And I'm going to do Etchy and different programs. So thank you for your time. Thank you for taking this course. I believe in you, and I believe in the success of your journey. If you publish any amount of books, just share that with me. And if you make your first sale, I want to hear your success stories. I want to hear a success story about the number of books you've sold, the first sale. Send me an email at imempire10 at gmail.com and tell me you've made your first sale. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.